Hello friends and welcome to our new video. Today it's about something very special. Eric introduces us to his two perfectly functioning air rifles. Each has an age of 90 years. I repeat, indeed 90 years ago each of these two air rifles was built in the year 1930. There are two devices of Diana from Germany. The company still exists today. The Diana brand became world famous in the year 1901 because it patented the first air rifles especially for children. This product for children could be fired with harmless rubber arrows and it had the model name Eureka. In the year 1960, the Diana company was worldwide the first firm which succeeded producing a completely recoil-free rifle. This was possible with the double piston principle, which was also invented in-house. Now Eric holds the Diana Model 25 in his hands. As you can see in the original papers from 1935, all metal parts of his sports device are made entirely of steel. At that time, it was offered for around 23 Reichsmarks. For example, if you look at the average price of 1 kg bread in the year 1935, it costed around 31 Pfennigs. Reichsmark and Pfennige, that was the currency in Germany a hundred years ago. Then, a family would have had to pay 300 euros that time, in comparison to today's conditions. A purchase that had to be carefully considered at times. But although the expensive price, all of the 10 million pieces that were produced were also sold. The Diana Model 25 has 4.5 mm caliber and a muscle crown. Eric's rifle has no rust at all and it is incredible, but the fact, with just a few shots of practice, you are able to hit a coin at around 15 meters even after 90 years. The rifle weighs 2.6 kg and has a velocity of 150 meters per second. As the speed of the projectile immediately after leaving the barrel. That is approximately about 540 km per hour. Next we see Eric's Diana model number 15. This slightly smaller air rifle has no muscle crown and was made especially for children. And you can imagine, this model number 15 is shooting as well as it did 90 years ago, but its power is not comparable to the model number 25, it's much much weaker. A tin can can be hit perfectly at around 50 meters, but the can is neither dented nor punctured, just a bit scratched. Yes, these were the two air rifles of today's video. What can you expect on our channel soon? Probably the most precise air rifle in the world, the Steyr LG 110 Hunting Edition from my home country, Austria, the Spanish air pistol Gamo P900, and soon from South Korea, one of the real power guns among the air rifles, the Evanix Blizzard. Eric and I say thank you for your interest and please do subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our next videos. I wish you a pleasant day, don't let them get you down and see you next time.